Hey, what's up everyone? Tetrick85 here, and today I'm going to be beginning my playthrough of Metroid for the NES. Ever since I reviewed this game, I've always wanted to do a playthrough on it, but never really had a chance to start it until now. This is one of my all-time favorite video games, as I said in my review, but I, I just absolutely love this game. As you can see, this intro is pretty good too, it has a pretty decent storyline to it. Even though it's Zebeth on here instead of Zebeth, but oh well. This music's pretty good too. Now for this playthrough, I'm gonna be playing as Suitless Samless Aaron. Now I don't, I haven't really seen a whole lot of playthroughs on YouTube with uh, Samus Aaron without the suit, so I figured that I'd try it without the suit here. Oh, and another thing I have to say about this too is that. This is going to be a tour-assisted playthrough, so... Yeah, I, this isn't going to be a serious playthrough by any means. As you can see here, the Samus got the Morph Ball, as it's called a Maru Maru. But yeah, this this uh, walkthrough is not to be taken seriously. This was never meant to be serious, this is just purely for fun, so... If you're expecting a serious walkthrough, uh then watch something else because when I play a game I just play to have fun I really don't care about taking less damage or anything like that I just play just for the heck of it so uh, now I kinda goofed up on my review of this game I made a comma about Samus's hair being green but her hair isn't green here obviously her hair doesn't turn green until you get the various suit which won't be until later on in my playthrough, but here she looks pretty normal. Well, this was before it was established that Samus is actually a blonde, which I kind of actually like Samus as a blonde better. I just think it suits her better. And I like I like the fact that they have uh, up until the Metroid the other M, that Samus being such a strong female character. And so you get a strong female character who's blonde, it kind of knocks that stereotype out of the water and that's seeing a nice strong blonde female character, so... This part can be a little bit tedious here, going up this corridor here, whatever you want to call it, but... But yeah, this, this game is actually ahead of its time because it's kind of like a platformer slash side scroller slash adventure slash strategy and the amount of uh, sprites and that being used especially with Samus's uh, movements and animations now is just groundbreaking for this time and figure this game was made back in 86 but didn't come out for the NES until 1987 so right there that shows you how advanced it is for its time as you see here I got hit which again, I'm not, I'm not playing seriously, so... Now this is actually the... See, I'm in Brinstar right now. This is actually the way you go in order to go to Norfair, but I'm not going to Norfair just yet. Because on here, I want to get at least the Long Beam and the, uh... The Morph Ball bl uh, bombs. So, I'm not going to go to Norfair right now. My objective here is to go over here and get those missiles over there, which I'm going to need in order to get some of these power-ups. Which, if you're playing this legitimately, then you have to co come here first in order to get those missiles. But since I'm not, it really doesn't matter, but I figure I'd try to be, even though this isn't a, a legitimate playthrough, I'd try to make it seem as legitimate as possible, if that makes sense. So if someone is trying to play this and they know, well, this is how he did it, so... And it's also like I said in my playthrough, there's no set way to beat this game or how to play this game. You can pretty much do whatever you want here, just as long as you know your abilities and that and what you need to do in some of the areas, but... This is a really fun game, like, if you, if you have problems having fun in this game, then there's something terribly wrong because... This game is awesome. You see, these flying enemies can be a pain in the neck. Uh oh. Oh, by the way, I don't know. 
all these enemies off than what the names are offhand. So if you see me saying like flying enemies or fuzzy enemies and that, please bear with me because as much as I love this game, I'm not as hardcore of a fan of this game as I am of like the Mario Brothers game. So bear with me on here because I, I'm not real good with names on here. This stretch here can seem long and tedious, but. Just have to watch out here. Oh, and needless to say, if you fall in that pit, uh, uh, you'll lose some energy, which I'm trying not to fall in there. But yeah, I should be getting close to the end of this uh, long hall. I guess it'll be a corridor or a hallway or whatever you want to call it. Of course, you have to go negotiate between all these irritating flying guys and everything else. And there's your first energy tank for the game. Which, I'm trying to get here without getting killed. If I, if memory serves me correctly, I think there are eight energy tanks in this game. I don't remember since I haven't played this in a while. As a matter of fact, I haven't played this since I made my review. But even then, I wasn't really playing it. I was just doing it just to record footage. But if memory serves me right, there are eight in total, so... You can see here I'm kind of taking damage, but oh well, no, no harm, no harm done. Now I gotta go up here, and first thing I'm gonna get right here is the uh, the morph uh, ball bombs. You know, oh, these flying enemies can be a real pain in the neck too. Oh, you think these flying enemies are bad? Wait till you see the ones in North. Or those ones will drive you nuts. Especially if you're trying to get, like, the screw attack and all oh, those, uh, power-ups. But yeah, you have to switch to your missiles here. Sometimes the enemies come in with you. And there are the bombs, which you're definitely going to need later on in the game. There's no doubt about that, especially when you're trying to get some of the power-ups in Norfair. Just got to go back here. Now what I'm trying to do now is try to make my way back to where I was originally with the uh, vertical blue hallway, so you're not really gonna, really gonna see anything new for at least the next couple minutes. That's one thing about this game, you do have to, you, w one that plays this will find themselves back to tracking quite a bit. As you can see here, I'm trying to get out of this pit. But it's necessary to backtrack though, because how are you supposed to get to some of these places if you don't go back to if you don't backtrack? I I've always loved the music. I know I said this in, uh, at the very beginning of this, but the music of this game is fantastic. It's very atmospheric. It fits the game well. It doesn't get irritating. Oh, and when you push the pause button, the music stops, which I know a lot of people get bugged whenever you push the pause button, the music keeps going, but if you're one of those people, you'll like this game, but I don't know, I never really minded um, music being played while the game is paused. But uh, it got me thinking, people uh, complain about this, what about the, like games like Battletoads, which probably has the best pause music I've ever heard on a video game. But yeah, you don't see very many people complaining about that, but... Oh well. That's another rant for another day. <laughs> Which, I gotta be honest, I, I, I'm trying to find the intestinal fortitude to review that game, Battletoads, because that's easily the most frustrating game I've ever played in my life. As you see here, I'm not really talking about the game here, because like I said before, there's nothing really to talk about here, but um... But yeah, that kind of has me in mind. I haven't done really many reviews in a while, though I have quite a few planned. I just haven't got around to do them lately. Because like I said in my one update video, this is around the time of year where things start getting really crazy for me, so I'm not really, I don't really have as much free time as what I normally would have like during the winter time, but I try to come up with material as often as I can. So, um, oh, here I'm... Um, gonna get the long beam, which is the second power-up I'm gonna get, and it's gonna be the last thing I do in this part of the video, so... 
And then after I get the long beam here, I'm we're gonna be going to New Warfare. So once I get this, I'll be on my way. Which I don't know what I was trying to do there. Of course, the enemy disappeared, which is awesome. And there's a the long beam, so thank you for watching this part and tune in next time so you get a chance to see Norfolk.